What's up guys? Check out this infinity that, uh, here's the details below, but check out the, um, infinity I test drive today, which was, you know, you test drive all these different cars and you just sometimes go, man, what are the standards today? And I'm like convert. This thing was awesome, but I'll show you why. There's some things I didn't like. I didn't like the exhaust note. I think that'd be an easy fix. I liked uh, most everything else about the car. The white interior was really comfortable, super nice. The back seat, I feel like could have been done a little differently for like, it's not appealing to the macho side of me, but super comfortable. I love the interior. I still love the interior. I like the front seats a lot, super comfy, but check out my review and tell me what you guys think and comment below, like, and subscribe and check it out. Oh yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's look at what's the price go for one of these cars. Let's start with the uh, low end to the high end. And so for that range, I think it's pretty, pretty fairly priced. It's not a cheap car, but what I got out of it was twin turbo, lots of power, lots of torque and really not a whole lot you have to do to the car. Maybe maybe a muffler if you want that sound like I do. That's about it. All right, guys. Tell me what you think. The interior is really nice. speakers they have a touch screen sunroof the touch screen huh. drive mode selector Six twin turbo. It's almost like I can smell burning rubber. test driving today the Infiniti Q60 and uh, initial impress impression is pretty awesome. Let's see. The leather interior is super nice. Bucket seats. Ooh, it's got a manual transmission. Let's try regular drive first. It's got the same style transmission like my Audi where you can shift without, you, you don't have a clutch, it's still an automatic, but you can do the manually shift up and down. It's a 3.0. Sweet. It's got really nice takeoff. It's not a rocket, but it's good. It's really good. It's it's almost a rocket. It's pretty good. I think this time I'll hit the freeway. 
So it's got all, everything in here is leather. It's really nice finishes. It feels nicer than the Cadillac I looked at. It's, it's actually way nicer than the Cadillac. It's very sporty. It's got impressive takeoff. Really impressive takeoff. Lots of leg room, very comfortable. It doesn't feel cramped at all. The interior, the seats are super comfortable. I would say this is nicer than the Cadillac can sound. Definitely nicer than the Camaro. This is probably the nicest car. It's got a nice touchscreen. It looks it looks stupid. Like it looks like the human vegetable could figure out this touchscreen. There's all these apps and it's like it's like my iPad. There's phone information, settings. You can buy apps. You can buy apps? like app garage there's an app garage see they named the app place the app garage genius really nice grip they don't have hold there's no oh shit handles by the way <laughs> so there's that yeah all the all the apps are really cool it's got a phone imagine that it's got drive mode selector, which seems to be, let's see how it takes off getting on the freeway. Puts you back in your seat. Oh. Give it to me. In case the phone falling wasn't enough evidence for you, that was awesome. Seriously, like, I think I'm in love with this car. I need an O-shed handle. It's two-door, coupe, very good-looking color paint job, blue paint, sparkly and stuff. It looks good. It's a pretty car. And it's fast. Stupid fast. It, it really picked up in second gear. First gear not feeling as fast as my Audi with the Quattro. Just not feeling it. Second gear felt better. Third gear was pretty good. Third gear really got some get up to it. So maybe that's turbo lag. I don't, I don't know. It didn't feel like turbo lag, but it could have been. Felt like gearing. It's got a nice sunroof. I will say I'm a little tall for this car, but my head's not hitting the roof. It gets after it though. Whew. Sunroof is nice. Just avoiding wind noise. We can close that sucker. It's nice. I love this. This is a really nice car. I should have bought this instead. This is pretty fresh. This will be the next rig. Let's just see. I'm gonna pull over here. I'm gonna try this manual, no, don't do it. manual transmission. Let's see. Let's just see. So we're in manual first. Let's see if drive mode can change at all. We've got eco mode, snow mode, standard mode, ooh, sport mode. There's even flames on the graphic. That's cool. <laughs> Personal mode. Must be just customize whatever you want. Let's try sport mode. Manual, first gear. All right, let's try this out. See if I can drop my camera again.
dude, that's pretty right on. I'm liking that. Whew. That's got some power. This thing's got some balls. It doesn't let you lose that front end, though. You're definitely not doing burnouts. That's got some brass coconuts. This is one of those cars where you're like, I I don't think I'm an infinity guy, but I think I have to be. I I love this car. I absolutely I don't want to take it back. I just want to keep driving it. I I I don't know if I am gonna take it back. This thing has balls. It just makes you love this thing. I do have a few friends that are Infinity guys, and I'm sure they're loving this video, loving me hear, hear me say this, because, you know, I'm an old school muscle car guy, but this thing is rad. Golly, it, it has a unique sound. It doesn't sound like every other car. I think I like that. It's kind of whiny in a like a throaty way. It's like, like a pissed off cat or something, you know? I don't know. It doesn't sound like barky. It sounds like like you just scared the shit out of your cat and he's trying to beat the shit out of you, you know? Like something like that. Yeah. It, like a cat. it winds up. It's just not that throaty sound you get from like a V8. I don't think I care. I, I think I still like it. It's just flipping mean. You know, at some point we have to sit there and ask ourselves because we got all these new cars, new technology, electric power, and where does it matter what you're looking for? And I think the experience is the best. And it doesn't sound like an old school V8. It's definitely not a muscle car. But is it kick ass and righteous? Hell yeah. I really don't want to take it back. I might just go cruising for the rest of the day. Let's go do that. Well, she's got to leave right now. I got to get back. So. <laughs> then you can scare your passengers. You bought the right car, by the way. downshifts nicely. I wonder if the proper exhaust system would uh, really make this car come to life. Don't think it's going to do a burnout. Let's try it really fast. Manual first. Sport mode. It doesn't let you do the stomp on it burnout, but that's okay. Should you buy one? If you're in the market and you're looking at one, my professional advice is go buy it. This thing's sick. I really love this car. I'm not an Infinity guy. I think I am now. It's pretty kick ass. All right, guys. There you have it. Put a body in there. Yeah, it looks like a trunk. Oh, there's a oh shit, I'm trapped in here handle. <laughs>